Howdy folks. I uh, wanted to talk to you briefly about uh, last week's Republican presidential debate. I wasn't going to do a video on this, but uh, somebody left a comment on one of my other videos inquiring what I thought about the debates, and so I decided to uh, make a few notes and I'll just discuss my general reaction to the debates with y'all. Uh, general takeaways, first of all, there was no standout performance by any one of the candidates at last week's debate. Most of you watched it probably came away with the same impression. Um, that obviously, since there was no clear winner, helps Romney. Because when you're the front runner, you don't want to breakout star of the debate to undermine your frontrunner status. The two candidates who I thought uh, sounded the most erudite in last Thursday's debate were Newt Gingrich and actually Ron Paul. Ron Paul I find to be uh, very interesting to watch in debates because he's the one candidate who doesn't even try to do talking points. Uh, it's it's very interesting. A as for Gingrich, uh, I, I I you know I like him, no questioning. He's a smart guy, but uh, he took a cheap shot at Chris Wallace at one point. In fact, I think it was the very first question he was asked, and I didn't really care for that. Uh, as for my guy, John Huntsman, he did well, but when you're polling in the low single digits it's not enough to do well. You need to really knock it out of the park, and he did not do that. So it, it would have been so easy for him if he had just done a few things differently. And lest you all think this is Monday morning quarterbacking, this is actually stuff I thought of in the moment while I was watching the debate. For example, when Mitt Romney mentioned that he and Herman Cain were the only two businessmen on the stage, Huntsman could have chimed in and said, uh, you know, Mitt, I ran a multinational corporation. <laughs> I did. I, I've spent more than a decade of my life in the private sector. I, even if he did, if he, you know, there, he may not have been able to cut in. And it's very hard to do that without looking like you're trying to just steal time from somebody else. But there, I noticed a couple instances where uh, he f finished his answer with time to spare. He didn't go right up to the bell like uh, some of the other candidates did so he could have just added at the end uh, you know by the way Mitt, uh, there are three businessmen on this stage well I don't know something like that also he made multiple references to his record as governor and it's a very impressive record and yet he didn't seem to be able to work in a couple of things that really would have uh, struck a chord with even the most hardline conservatives in Iowa or around the, the nation watching. Uh, for example, his record, uh, uh, he signed into law legislation that would protect the life of the unborn, uh, he, something that Romney certainly didn't do and Pawnee wasn't able to do as, as governor, that neither of them had a cooperative legislature to, to do that. but. It's something to his credit. Also, school choice. Uh, Utah, his signature achievement as governor, one of them, one of his most impressive achievements was the nation's most expansive school voucher program. Uh, he didn't mention that, and that, 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 was, really, that was really a shame. Um, this was my favorite line of the night. This is Herman Cain. Uh, Part of the answer he gave when asked about illegal immigration. Listen to this. We have a path to citizenship for illegal aliens. It's called legal immigration. And Wasn't that great? Uh, that should be the Republicans' rallying cry on this issue of immigration, illegal immigration. It's very difficult to encapsulate a serious policy statement in a uh, catchy soundbite, but I think that that does it. And keep hearing people, politicians and pundits, talk about a pathway to citizenship. And of course, when some voters hear pathway to citizenship, they immediately think amnesty. Uh, that's what the Republicans need to uh, be trumpeting. 
we have a pathway to citizenship already, and it's called legal immigration. A million people a year immigrate to this country legally. They, they become citizens legally. I don't know that Herman Cain was the first person to say that, but, uh, well, he is now. No, he, he's the, 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 the only person I've heard say that. Maybe somebody else said it, and I certainly wouldn't want to uh, give credit to him if, if he was just uh, quoting somebody else. Anyway, uh, that's my take on the debate. Let me know what you think. Check out my website. Check on my blog. A lot of you have been reading my articles without commenting on them. So, you know, let's 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 comment on them or or just ignore them altogether. Actually, don't don't do the latter. Good. Comment on them. Okay. Until next time. Don't mess with the right wing genius.